guys, Emmer again. Welcome back. I've had a few issues with this little drill press. It's a Chinese trade master drill press. Uh, it's not a bad quality thing, it's got a decent table on it. It's only 5 speed and half horsepower with a, a 3 8 chuck. It's probably the best one that I could get in the size range at the time, but it's still pretty light and tinny. And this motor has given up the ghost. I think it's probably just a capacitor. I've sort of sourced a new one, but it didn't happen really and the connections are pretty crappy too, maybe that was some of the problem they're just junk so I've taken it off, there's just three spade lugs here pretty straightforward and I bought this one which is a bit nicer, it's got two capacitors in it one for running and one for starting I believe it's got proper grommet for the, for the hose and pipe and if we have a look it's got a reset switch here which might stop the low current problem if that's actually what it is that's causing it to play up it won't stop it but it'll get round it this one's cast aluminium it's a pretty chunky motor it's got a cast frame this one, the old one, if you have a look, has just got a bit of tin spot welded on the bottom there. With four holes in it, it's pretty crappy. And this was the plate off it. All that is, is basically it's got two bolt holes to hinge on the machine. And it's got a spring loaded piece that pushes against there to, to keep the, the belt tensioned with a little lock screw in it. So this isn't much good if we have a look. There's no way that's going to line up on the holes. So, luckily the, the shaft's still the same size. Which is really good. A fraction better actually. So we can use the pulley. And put that aside for a minute though. What I've done in the interest of doing this properly so I've gone to my favourite eBay metal shop and they've posted me up a sheet of plate So what I've got is a sheet of 3 mil plate, a nice neat piece, and some 25 by 3 steel. What I'm going to do is fold one of these up the same profile as this, and drill two holes in it, and weld on a bit of plate with four holes and we should have something that's as good as what we had or better and ready to go and um, by the way we've got another free steel rule which always useful can just chuck them away when we use them now this is if we have a look yeah 50 mil overall Looks like it needs to be 75 millimeters in between. If we look 
at that there it's about 47 so 47 and 47 and 75 that makes 171 millimeters steel rules not long enough next job is to mark the position of this bracket or to work out the position of this bracket in relation to the top of the the shaft here if we get a ruler and put it across there and measure that it doesn't have to be particularly precise we just want the other one in somewhere near the same spot and to the outside of that or the inside of that we're looking at about 60 millimeters so that's where that needs to be. Now have a look at this one with the same bracket on it. And do the same thing. It wants to be about there. And as you can see, only one of the bolt holes actually lines up. We measure this here we want a piece of plate to cover this mounting flange we want a piece of plate 120 by about 140 I reckon it'd be good we set him at 140 mark there and set him here at 120 and mark the other way So that's taken me about 10 minutes I guess to cut that out to the line or near enough. Next job is to draw file it up. You just use a file on its edge. It's a single cut file, double cut file, whatever. Just get him somewhere near. Flat all the way along. And then draw file it like that with my, both hands on the file. And you'll get down the size very, very quickly. So it's a nice square bit of plate. I've cut this to length. So next job is to put a radius on the ends, I think. Now someone's going to ask how I drilled these holes. This is the bracket so far. I just used a, a, um, a drilling pad in the lathe and put the drill in the, in the three jaw chuck and held a bit of steel so they're nice and square and good. That's the ends made. Next job is to bend these over just at 90 degrees in the vise. So I guess the thing is to hold this in the vise at the right angle and bend it over with a hammer nice and neat and square. So of course my phone went flat, but you've probably seen all this. I just brazed the, the bracket on the plate in the right spot. This hole's drilled right through. And that bolt's on there. So next job I guess is clean up in a coat of paint. And tomorrow I'll go and get some bolts to bolt this up and hang it up there so we had a trip out Monday morning the paint's dried on this I just give it a squirt with some with a rattle can and I went and spent two bucks on a handful of bolts I've got washers and spring washers and nuts and four short ones as I expected I think we need a long one in this corner because it goes through the double thickness. There's plenty hanging out there. A 
so now that's all bolted up nice and solid and looking good we've turned the drill press around and this is the back of it these are the two lugs that it bolts on we've got bolts to go in it so it's probably just a matter of holding it up there and dropping the two bolts in if we can find them So with a little bit of messing around, I've got this sort of bolted on here. And that's all very well and it looks good, but there are some problems. First issue is that this hole in the top of the guard here isn't big enough and if we have a look along here we can see the gap there where it's lifted the guard up to bolt on here it's got to go up there really to line up with the pulleys nicely so I guess the thing to do will be to pull this guard off and cut a decent hole in there and put a surround around it and make a nice job of it. Hopefully we won't have to paint the guard again, but let's have a look and do that. And the other thing is that there's a bit more gap here than there was on the old one between it. So our belt's a little bit short. So down to the belt shop and spend 10 bucks and buy another B section belt or C section belt or whatever it is. Um, about air, probably a couple of inches longer wouldn't hurt. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and we're going to leave the rest for part two more soon.